Greetings, YouTube. So I've been thinking about the statues. <clears throat> They're all in the news. Um, some are being taken down by cities. Some, think, some of them are being taken down by people. And it has a lot of folks in the conservative sphere, let's say, very upset. In fact, um, the president of the United States is upset about, you know, taking down those statues and things like that because, you know, they they represent our heritage, a heritage of racism and slavery and discrimination and oppression, which is apparently a, a heritage that he would like to preserve. Not really shocking there. His father was a Klansman. Um, and I've spoken about these statues before, but I want to make it very clear. Tear down the fucking statues. Remove every single statue in the United States of America of a person that owned even a single slave or was an officer in the Confederacy or a soldier in the Confederacy. Take them all down. Put them in museums. I'd even go further than removing the statues. I think we should replace all the statues with statues of not white people. Because there's a lot of white people already out there. So why don't we put some people, statues up there representing the people in America, say, that existed before we got here. Or the black people, or the brown people, or the Asian people. All who have contributed to making America what it is today. How about we put some statues up to women? There aren't a lot of those. Most of those statues are of dudes, who also happen to be racists and slave owners. Um, and or slave owners. Some of them weren't slave owners. Some of them were just willing to fight and die to, to preserve slavery. But I'd even go further than that. I would take the name of anyone that was a slave owner or who fought for the Confederacy off every single thing in America. All the streets, all the buildings, all the monuments, all the cities, all of them. And I'd put those names where they belong in a history book. So that people could learn about them in context. I'd change the name of Washington, D.C. Because Columbus and Washington were both slavers and rapists. I'd take the name off of every city in America and have them changed to someone that wasn't a slaver. Or didn't fight for the Confederacy. Ben Franklin's a nice dude. To the best of my knowledge, he didn't own any slaves. Slap his name on some things. Again, why don't we name some things after black people and brown people and Asian people and some women? That would be nice, though, wouldn't it? Take the name Washington off the Washington Monument. Because not only is it named after a slaver, it was built by slaves. change it all. Why? Because life is dynamic. We are dynamic. We are a moving point on a wave. We never stand still. And we have to learn and adapt and to change. And the reality is, is that we're not. There are terrified white Americans digging their claws into things that they think represent something that was worth saving and it isn't. Those statues weren't put up at the end of the Civil War. Those statues were put up there as a symbol to the black people of America that we used to own you and we are going to continue to oppress you. And all of this stuff is part of our history and it all needs to be in our history. It needs to be in every damn history book ever used in every school in America. It needs to be put into context. But what it doesn't need is it doesn't need veneration. And when you put up a statue or you put a name on something, that is an act of veneration. And we do not need to venerate slave owners, whether they're founding fathers or presidents or whoever the hell they are. Get their names off of things. I know people are saying, well, you shouldn't change Jefferson or Washington because they were founding fathers. I don't give a shit that they were founding founding fathers. They were slavers. And we know Jefferson was a rapist. 
So yeah, I don't want the rapists and the slavers' names on things. I know I'm a wacky progressive. Get the names off things. Change them. Let us show not only the world at large, but the black people that live here, that we recognize our wrongs. We are willing to admit our wrongs. So at least we can begin to move forward. But a whole lot of white people in America are terrified about that. They're terrified to admit their wrongs, personally or culturally. They can't even admit their own damn history. So they cling to the past and they continue to perpetuate the veneration of slavers and rapists. Which is uh, vile. 